Hello and welcome to week number 30 of the 2024 Baking Challenge. Today we're doing something summery and sweet. It is whipped lemon shortbread cookies. So grab your ingredients and let's bake. Before we get into it, preheat your oven to 325, right? Yes, 325. Make sure there's nothing in there. Okay, so why did I choose this recipe? Well, lemon, for starters, I love lemon, and I hope that you do too. Ease, for second, this seems like a very simple recipe. And the third is that it uses corn flour, which had me scratching my head and thinking to myself, yes, I want to try that. So this is what I was able to find at our local grocery store here. And I will tell you, I have been making corn tortillas with that for the last week. It's been fantastic, super easy to use. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a cup of this and a cup of all-purpose flour and you're gonna mix gently, don't get it all over the place. You're gonna whisk those together gently in a bowl and set that aside. This is a super easy recipe, you guys. There's not a lot to it, okay? In this bowl, I have got three-fourths of a cup of confectioner sugar, although honestly, I made, I weighed it. I didn't measure it out. Con powdered sugar is one of those things that's really a pain in the butt, so I used my food scale and I weighed this sucker. So I've got 85 grams of confectioner sugar in here. I also have the zest of two lemons. Now, I didn't use my big zester today because it's only two lemons, and I like this one because I can just lay it across the top of my bowl and there you have it. So my lemon zest, my powdered sugar, and my half of a teaspoon of table salt are already in here. Let me put this over here. The second, third, fourth, I don't know which number we're on, but you're gonna need two sticks of butter. That's 16 tablespoons of butter softened, room temperature. So um, I've had mine sitting in the warm atrium all morning long, so it is definitely soft. Ooey and gooey here. So you're just gonna dump that all in. It should be unsalted butter per the recipe, but I honestly only buy unsalted butter, so I never seem to specify that when I'm writing out the ingredients for you, and I apologize for that. All right, you will notice that I do not have my stand mixer. It is sitting on the counter over there. I can't even glance in its direction because I'm still very upset about what happened last week. Um, don't get me started on KitchenAid and their lack of customer service. Instead, I've got the old Hamilton Beach hand mixer that we're gonna use as soon as I go find the attachments, which should be in there, but aren't. So let me go grab those real quick, and then we're gonna hand mix this. Your butter, your salt, your powdered sugar, and your lemon zest are all gonna get mixed together in a mixing bowl. Now, if you're using a hand mixer, and even if you're not, you may have to use a spatula to make sure that you're getting it all off the sides of the bowl. That's totally fine. I'm definitely gonna have to use a spatula. Um, as you can see, it's going to have almost an icing consistency to it. Let me grab a spatula real fast. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. It's going to be smooth and creamy, so about five minutes of mixing. Okay, this is where you are going to be adding your two teaspoons of vanilla. Whoop, that's comes out fast when there's not much left in the jar. <laughs> That's okay. So my hands smell like vanilla and lemon today. That's not bad. If you have your lemon paste, this is where you're going to add that as well. I do not have lemon paste, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Then you're just going to mix this up. Well, stir it in is what the, uh, is what the recipe says.
Let's see. That stirs in rather easily. Okay, now we're gonna add our dry ingredients and we're gonna get this mixed up until the dough comes together. It does not say how long that could take, but I'm just gonna add, a, because I'm using a very small hand mixer here, I'm just gonna add a little bit of my dry ingredients at a time, maybe like a third of the bowl. This smells so good, all I smell is lemons. All right, this is definitely coming together as a dough. I'm gonna go ahead and add the rest of my dry ingredients. You know, I said from the beginning that I wanted to make these challenges as easy as possible, um, so you wouldn't need any expensive equipment. So, this mixer is definitely not expensive. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, for the price it was, it definitely is a champ. All right, let me scrape down the sides. I'm probably just gonna mix the rest of this by hand and then we'll come back to it. It's scooping time. We are gonna make inch and a half balls of dough. You can use a level tablespoon cookie scoop. I'm pretty sure that's what this is. Honestly, they should say on the handle. And you're gonna take your, your scoop of dough, drop it into some granulated sugar and roll that sucker all around. Then you're just gonna put it on your tray. You're gonna want these two inches apart because they are going to spread. This dough is a really interesting consistency. I can't wait to see how it translates to a baked cookie. Also, it's very soft. If it's too soft to work with, you can put it in the refrigerator for 10 or 15 minutes. That'll, that'll get that uh, soft butter to stiffen up a little bit so it'll be easier to work with. Okay, now, 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 we're gonna use a fork to lightly flatten the tops. I don't think we have to push down too much. I might be going too much here. It, it honestly doesn't say in the recipe, so that's okay. I'm just gonna, just gonna go with it here. There we go. These are gonna go into the oven for 12 to 16 minutes or until they're set and the edges are just starting to brown, okay? When you take them out of the oven, you're gonna leave them on the baking sheet to cool. They're very fragile when they're still warm, so you're gonna to need to cool them completely before you try to move them off of the trays. 
Now I made my cookies a little smaller than the recipe called for. So I have three trays of a dozen cookies and it is time to try these. It's a good cookie. The lemon is very subtle in it. I think if you use lemon paste, it would be a lot more punchy. The texture is not sandy, but it just falls apart in your mouth. Um, there's a crunch when you bite into it. Uh, you've got the lingering sweetness of the sugar that it's been rolled in overall. This is a really good shortbread cookie. I, I like this and I'm gonna call it a winner. I think it would be really cool um, if they were stable enough to dip them in like a bittersweet chocolate, like do a, a half dip, that would be good too. But as it is, the, these cookies alone are ones that I will be making again. Well, that's it for this week's challenge. Another super easy one in the books and a delightful recipe if I do say so myself. These will be made again and again and again because they are that good. I may try switching it up and doing orange next time. I love a good orange cookie. And I think that other than swapping out the um, lemons for oranges, the recipe should stay the same. So I hope that you enjoyed this recipe. I hope that you had the chance to bake along. If you haven't already, you should hit the subscribe button below because I am bringing you a brand new to me recipe every single Saturday morning. You can also follow along on the Facebook page or the Instagram page. Those links are below. Every Wednesday morning, I will post the ingredients and the name of what we will be baking that weekend. That way you have a chance to get your shopping done. I don't even remember what we're making. Oh yes, I do know what we're making next week. It is something interesting, something new, something I've never had before. I've never eaten it. I've never made it. So I'm excited and I will see you next week. Mm -hmm.